Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today we are going to solve a very interesting question Roman 2 integer. So before moving on to the question, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because we are going to solve a lot of interview questions and I think that can definitely help you with your interview. So let's dive into the question. So the question says like we need to if you are given with any roman number we need to convert it into an integer and like how roman number are being represented it's like it's given above here right i represent 1 v represent 5 x represent 10 and so on till n so you can read the question so like i i, I will not spend question i will not spend time on this but let's directly dive how we can solve the question what intuition we can use so like suppose i say that we are given with we are given with xi so how you will going to represent into an integer so x represent 10 and i represent 1 so we simply add this so this will going to 11 So if we will given with this thing, we need to represent. We need to give it as a output. So the same way, if we are given with v, we need to give the output as five. If we are given like this, three i, then we need to give one plus one plus one. That is three. But suppose we are given with this number, i and v. so here what we are doing we are just adding the numbers we are just adding the numbers but if we will add it here 1 plus 5 it will going to give us 6 but it's a incorrect answer so what we can do see there is a something similarity in both the things if i simply add this it will going to give us 11 but an answer should be 9 and here answer should be 4 so see here here we are getting one thing whenever the previous number whenever the previous number is smaller than this number like suppose we are we are here and this number is smaller than this number then we need to sub- subtract something we need to minus something what i'm saying is if you are given like this then first we will going to do this i represent 1 and v represent 5 then if this number is smaller than this number then we will on minus 2 into the previous number like suppose in this case so i represent 1 will plus 10 and we need to minus 2 into previous number which represent 1 that will going to be 9 like same in the case of 49 how 49 is represented x l i so let's do this thing over here what i'm saying so x represent 10 will plus l represent 50 but this thing is less than l so what we'll going to do we'll go on minus 2 time the previous number that is 10 right now we came to i we will add 1 then we came to x we will add 
ten. But this number is smaller. So what we'll gonna do? Twice the times of previous number. That is one. And if we'll do the calculation, ten plus fifty minus twenty plus eleven minus two. Nice shows. Let me do like this way. So we do the calculation. Forty plus nine is forty-nine. So what I'm doing is we will while moving we will keep watching if the previous number is less than or not. If it's less than, then we are gonna minus two times of previous value. Otherwise, we will just gonna add. Now the concept is clear, but how we'll gonna code it? Before coding it, we need to store the all these numbers in a dictionary. So what we will do? Like we will make a dictionary and we will store the value like this. I represent one. V represent five. X represent L represent fifty, C represent hundred, D represent five hundred, and M represent one thousand. So this is how we'll gonna store it first. Then we will take two pointer, like two variables. One is previous. We will give it a initial value zero, so that we can track the previous number. We need one. Current, we also can give it a zero and one minute total. For now, we can give it zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through the given string. Given string, and we will assign current as first first value, like whatsoever we are given with the string. So. Dig s whatsoever with the like suppose it's s given string is s and if current is greater than previous, which means the previous one is smaller. Then what we'll gonna do? We will gonna Total, which will total plus current. But I said like whenever the previous one is smaller, we will minus that twice of the previous. Else, we just keep adding. And but like suppose if you keep moving forward, how we'll gonna track the previous one? So we will make previous is equal to current after every iteration, and in the end we will return the total. So this will give us the answer. So if you want, I can dry run it with the example of forty nine. So the forty nine is represented as. X L I X. So let's start. So like we will need to track of previous, current, and total. So initially everything is zero. So we move to the place and the first element is current. So let's take X as a current. So value of X is ten. So We don't have any previous. Previous is zero, so current is greater than previous. So what we're gonna do? Total will be equal to ten on zero plus ten because the value of zero is four now ten minus two into zero. So that is ten. So total is ten. We will keep updating. 
so now we will come over here l so here we see like when we come to the l the value of l is 50 and yes 50 is greater than 10 because uh, yeah and at the end when we come here we need to update the previous so like previous will gonna be here 10 this is what after first iteration so now we came to came over here so let's second so 50 is greater than 10 so what we're going to do total is 10 over here so 10 plus 50 minus 2 times previous value which is 10 so this will going to be 60 minus 20 that is 40 so total for now is 40 and current was 50 and previous was 10 so now we came over here i right. so now current is current is 1 and so the current is not bigger than previous which was 50 not bigger than 50 so we are just going to add it so what was the total for now over here is 40 plus 1 that is 41 now we come to the last so let me erase this so of course the previous is 1 and total over is 41 so current is 10 so yes 10 is current is bigger than 1 so what we'll going to do 41 plus 10 minus 2 times of previous which is 1 so that is 51 minus 2 that is 49 so in the same way the total will gonna be 49 and so we will be going to return 49 so let's write the code so i have already written the i already made the dictionary which store the values of uh, roman integers so we need a total let's give zero for now we need current So for i in range of length of given string is it s let's current will gonna be the first element of the given string and its value like which ever will be the number current is less than previous then what we'll gonna do we will we will add the current in the total and we will minus the two times of previous else we just simply gonna add the value of current to the so it this and this thing is the same so it's just a two ways to write in the same thing so after every loop we will uh, change to previous and at the end we will return the total so i think question is right 
Oh yeah, it's sky up. So like, it's a fifty-nine percent. I hope you guys understand the question. And so like, simply what what we are doing is like, if the previous value is less than the current value, then we are sub subtracting the twice of the previous value. Otherwise, we are just keep adding the value of the current. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video.